This video accompanies Learning IoT with Python and Raspberry Pi. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the Nano Editor to create and edit Python scripts, and how to run Python scripts from the terminal. Many Linux distributions, including Raspbian, come with a Nano Editor, which is used to edit all kinds of text files and not just Python scripts. To use a Nano Editor, you must first open a terminal window. Click on the terminal icon in the application launch bar. Notice the Pi at Raspberry Pi prompt, which indicates you are logged on as a user Pi on the Raspberry Pi host. Entering the Linux command pwd will cause the current path to be returned, which is forward slash home forward slash pi. This means that you are currently in your home directory. In order to start the nano editor, simply enter nano at the prompt. The most commonly used nano commands appear in the two lines at the bottom of the window. The caret before the letter means that you have to press the control key along with the letter. The two nano commands you will use the most are the command to exit from the nano editor and the command to save your file. We'll enter a three-line script composed of two print function calls and an input function call. In order to enter the script, simply start typing. The first print function call will print out this is learning IoT. The second line prompts the user to enter the user's name. And the third line is a print function call that will print out welcome and the name of the user. Regarding creating and editing Python scripts, the nano editor does not provide as much feedback if you make a mistake when typing in code, as do integrated development environments, such as Thani. Notice that right now, all the text you just typed in is in white font. You can either press Control X to exit from Nano, in which case you will be prompted to save the code you just typed in, or you could press Control O to save the code. We'll press Control O first. Notice that the commands at the bottom have changed. Pressing Control C or just the Enter key will cancel the write-out operation. In order for the operating system to recognize this file as a Python script, the file name you enter must carry the .py suffix. We'll name this file lesson underscore nano .py and press the Enter key. Since the operating system recognizes this file as a Python script, certain characters will be displayed in a different color. The string literals are now in green font. This is Learning IoT. Enter your name and welcome. You can navigate the script using the up, down, right, and left arrow keys. If we wish to add a comment line to the beginning of the script, simply start typing. As soon as the hashtag key is pressed, everything to the right of the hashtag on that line is part of the comment and appears in red. We'll enter the comment created November 27, 2019 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, immediately before the first print function call, which is also now displayed in red. Pressing the enter key after Florida causes the first print function call to be in its own line, which is where it should be. When control O is pressed this time, lesson underscore nano dot py appears as the file name to write. Pressing the enter key will cause the changes to be written to lesson underscore nano dot py, or you can backspace over the name and enter a new name. Now we'll exit from the nano editor. To run a script, type in Python 3 followed by the name of the script. So in order to run lesson underscore nano, type in Python 3 followed by lesson underscore nano dot py and press the enter key. This is learning IoT is printed out followed by the prompt to enter your name. We'll enter the name Mickey and welcome followed by the name Mickey will be printed out. You can edit the lesson underscore nano script by entering nano followed by lesson underscore nano dot py. Suppose we delete a closing quotation mark. Now the string literal is no longer in green and just appears in white. We'll write these changes to the Python script lesson underscore nano two dot py and exit. We'll run the script by entering Python three lesson underscore nano two dot py. This time a syntax error occurs. Next, we'll write a script that scrolls a message on Sunset Emulator. 
If you have a sense head attached, you can use that instead of the emulator. If you are using the SenseHead emulator, go to the Raspberry Pi menu, select Programming, and then select the SenseHead emulator to launch it. If you are using the actual SenseHead device, you don't need to do this. And this is what the SenseHead emulator looks like. Now we'll type in the Python code. We begin by importing the SenseHead class from the Sense underscore emu package. If you're using a SenseHead device, then you replace sense underscore emu with sense underscore hat. We'll assign an instance of the sense hat class to the sense variable. We next call the show message method with the string literal learning IoT, as well as the text color and background colors as arguments. Because the background color will still be yellow even after the message has finished scrolling, we'll need to call the clear method on sense in order to clear those pixels off. Also, notice that from and import in the first line appear in the color cyan. This is because these are Python keywords. We'll save the changes and exit from the nano editor. When we run this script, nothing is printed out to the terminal. because there was no print function call. Instead, learning IoT is scrolled on the SenseHead emulator. Learning IoT with Python and Raspberry Pi is available at barnesandnoble.com.